Hey everybody, Charlie Nunner 2 here, and welcome to Fuga, Melodies of Steel. Well, what do I know about Fuga? I know it has tanks. I know the sprockets on the side there remind me of my Charlie Nunner 2 logo. And I know it has uh, anthropomorphic cats. I think they're cats, maybe dogs and cats. I think it's a family of cats. In a weird kind of fictional history version of World War II, I believe. World War II, if I can speak correctly. And that's about all I know. Let's check out the options real quick so you guys can see how I have everything set up. I've got the text on normal. I can move that to fast as needed. There's my sound balance. We'll change that as needed. Voices, we can only have Japanese or French, so we're going to go with Japanese, and the text will be in English. I am playing with a controller, and we'll see how that goes. So let's get started right after we watch the intro. All right, here we go. Fuga, Melodies of Steel. Let me move my mouse off of the screen. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to do data one. When saving, a save icon will appear at the bottom right of the screen. Do not quit the game or turn off the power during this time. Okay, don't intend to. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Oh, look at that. Metal slug style tank. Hannah, I'm scared. It's all right, May. Everything will be all right. So we got Hannah and May. Enable auto text. No, we're not going to do that. Ugh, I'm getting dizzy. Your voice sounded a lot higher than I expected. Get off of me, you big baby. I think we may be going too fast. If we don't hurry, everyone from the village will be taken away. With claws of steel digging incessantly into the earth, the massive beast of iron shot its way through the midnight wood. Uh, do you guys want me to read? Even though the uh, Japanese uh, audio is going on, I think that's probably the best way to do it, right? Along with the merciless screeching and vibrating metal, it carried the children forward and onward. So, they found refuge in a tank. It was as though they had been swallowed up in the belly of a ferocious beast of war. That tank is like no tank I've ever seen in the world, but it is awesome. You should see the enemy up ahead soon. Watch out. Malt. We're almost upon them. Alright, with this thing, we may have a chance to get them back. For sure. Okay, I also feel like the Japanese is not reading the full text. I think it's just like the little uh, barks that they do. And that's fine. Oh, we just took a hit, looks like. This tank is full of children? Oh, they're dogs. It's cat versus dogs. Wait a minute. Berman? Berman soldier? That's that's how you do the German soldiers. Is you just change the B to a or the G to a B and you call them Berman? Alright, there are Berman soldiers. What? What's with this thing? It's a monster. It, it didn't do anything. I think we're okay. This thing's pretty tough. All right, so hold on. So so far we've got a family of of walking, talking cats, children at that, who have found this massive land battleship. Where did this thing come from? Hopefully we'll figure that out through the storytelling. I think we're okay. This thing's pretty tough. 
Don't get cocky, kid. If we don't fire back, we're goners. Kyle. It's always a Kyle. So the radio says, it seems you've met the enemies, but don't worry. Who is on the radio? I'll teach you how to fight with the Tyrannus. Believe in the Tyrannus' power and fight. That's right. We have to fight. If we don't, everyone for the village will be taken away. Oh, I love the design. Destroy your enemies with the three gun turrets on the giant tank Tyrannus. Turret would imply movable left, right, and up and down. It doesn't look like there's any turrets on this tank. It looks like there are gimbal-mounted weapons mounted on the side. But whatever. There they are. Top, middle, and bottom. Oh, Children placed at a gun turret will attack with their skilled weapon type. Select Grenade Launcher. So that one, Hannah, has her Grenade Launcher. It won't let me select anything else. What is that up top? Is that a turn counter, I think? Grenade Launcher. On to Little Dog Tank. The Jaghund. The Hunting Dog. Delay. Uh, do we do it again? Yeah, I guess so. Another grenade launcher, this time from Socks. Socks, you look like uh, you're the the nerdy one, right? So it looks like you can have two on each weapon. Cannon. Malt. You must be the main protagonist. High attack but low accuracy. Takes time to load. Okay, so if we tell the cannon to fire... Okay, I see up top there, it probably won't fire until after the other two have already went. And the enemies went. Yakund. No, it fired immediately. Okay. So that was just the speed of my go. Achievement unlocked, one small step. We have S ranking. No, we have A ranking because of our technique. We got a rusty barrel. Oh, they each gain experience, those six up there. Few details. Fewer number of turns used, the higher the rank. The less damage received, the higher rank. Technique used link attack. I don't know what that is. Inflicted status ailment. Attacked enemy's weakness. Used skill. Used normal attack. And the results, experience points, and items can be obtained according to the outcome of the battle. Win the battle quickly to avoid receding damage and earn more experience points. Ah, everybody run! Run! Oh yeah, you had it coming, suckers. <laughs> yay, yay! Don't you dare go outside there, you two. It's dangerous. Oh. What? They're just kids? We'll deal with them later. Retreat, retreat! Fuga. Melodies of Steel. I feel like the, <laughs> the title drop could have been a little more dramatic than that. This is the route progression screen. Various effects will occur when the Tyrannus reaches an event waypoint. Is this like a... Like a roguelike route choosing? Battles occur at this waypoint. The number on the upper right represents the number of consecutive battles. So for that one, there will be two battles. The Tyrannus' HP is restored at this waypoint. There are other waypoints with various effects, so please check the help for more details. Okay, so we have HP of 5,000. SP, which I'm guessing was skill points or mana, 50. And we have help, start, battles, intermission. Bifurcation? Oh, that's where it splits. Target waypoint. Elite battle, greater difficulty. Ruins expedition. Junction. HP recovery, SP recovery, HP and SP, items, 
large amounts with the plus signs. Same thing with the items. Alright, well, we don't really have a choice, so we're just going to... Well, let's look at the menu. Status, items, library, options, return to title. Library. Characters. We have six here. We have Malt. Malt Marzipan. Race is Kananu. No idea. Ginger's male, 12 years old. The oldest child from Pedimona. Ever since his parents died from an illness, he has been living as a moose sheep herder on his grandparents' farm with his little sister, May. He has a strong sense of responsibility and shows great courage. 12 years old, so you are the patriarchal figure at 12 years old. Hannah Fondant. So their last names are off, off of, like, baked goods, sweets, and candies? So he must be a dog, because Kananu. She must be a f cat. Malt's childhood friend, a thoughtful girl with a compassionate grown-up nature. She is kind to everyone. She loves to read and enjoys taking care of people. Someday she hopes to become a doctor. Twelve years old as well. Kyle. Kyle Bavarios. Uh, well, maybe his last name's not... a sweet... Filinko, or Filinko, male, 11 years old. Due to his parents' circumstances, he moved from the capital to an unfamiliar countryside. Even though he often has a bad attitude and a foul mouth, he is actually quite gentle and lonely. Has a crush on this one, Hannah. Okay, and you two are friends, and you have a younger sister named May, who's at the bottom. All right, Boron Brioche. Isn't Brioche some type of bread, right? Felinko, male, 10 years old. He's one of five children born to his father and mother, a farmer and a cook, respectively. Always calm, and he dislikes fighting. Gentle giant. Although he's a big boy, he often acts like a scaredy cat crybaby. Socks. All right, Kananu. So your dog creature, male, 10 years old. Fascinated by mechanics and a desire for knowledge, he is driven by curiosity. He's easily excited by topics on knowledge, often speaking rapidly, even though he's usually more reserved. He has difficulty talking with girls. Okay, so yeah, he's your otaku, your nerd. May, four years old. In this tank. Female, Malt's little, oh, May Marzipan. Malt's little sister and the youngest of the group, cheerful and sunny, she grew up without letting the death of her parents affect her. How? She has a friendly personality, but likes her brother the most. I mean, that makes sense. Locations. Oh, my goodness. There's so many things here. Okay, we haven't unlocked any of it. So, it looks like we're going to advance. So, is there no overworld, then? We're just going along this line. Uh, there's a lot of French going on there. Maybe this is a French-made game. It's odd that Japanese is the default language, though. I'll have to look at that, that up. The timeline at the top of the screen displays the actions. It's order. Icon displayed under an enemy's HP designates its weakness. So its weakness is time? Uh, okay. Attack with a weapon of the same color. Oh, so color helps. We still can't choose anything other than Grenade Launcher. We can analyze. Yaghund. Its attack is slightly high, so try not to get hit. Delay its action and defeat it safely by attacking it with the same color weapons as its clock-shaped weakness icon. Use the formation screen to switch out characters to exploit its weakness. Okay, so does that... If we hit it with the weakness, does that delay its actions? Uh, that looks like... Let's do help. Here we go. Blue is weakness to machine gun. Yellow is weakness to grenade launcher. And then red is weakness to cannon. The higher the rank of armor, the less damage is received. Receiving damage is decreased if it's defending. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of elements. We're going to be coming back to the screen a bit. Injury cannot be placed in... Gun turrets, if injured again, they must, they must rest in the dormitory to recover. 
fear, accuracy is half, hero, courage, depression. Depression? Great feeling, fortitude, fortune. Weakness, shock, bad luck, stealth. Okay, we're just going to have to come back to this whenever we get one of these status elements. All right, for now, grenade launcher, you. And action is delayed. Okay, if you attack with weapons of the same color like this, the enemy's action order will be delayed. So now, do we want to attack... Oh, we can only push it back once. Look, the weakness icon is gone. So we probably want to delay this one now. And then the icon goes away. Okay. So now we got cannon. I don't think the cannon will kill one of these, but we'll try. No, it will. Cerebus shot. Three hit attack. Oh, that is pretty high damage. Grenade launcher. And we'll kill it with another grenade launcher. Uh, okay. Aerial enemies have high evasion. Weapons with high accuracy are effective against these enemies. Let's switch placements on the formation screen. Left button. Here you can see the abilities of each of the children placed at the three gun turrets. Skills. This information is about the top gun turret. The cursor is placed on the attacker position. So the one to the right is the attacker. Weapon attribute effects and damage depend on the abilities of the attacker. Now let's switch Hannah, who is currently selected with another child. Okay. With this one. Hannah. Select May with the cursor and press A. Oh, you can swap from down there. The machine guns used by May has a high accuracy and is effective against aerial enemies. Okay, so that's the blue. Next, let's switch Malt with Kyle. Select Malt. Kyle. Now, there are two children with machine guns and one with a grenade launcher. That... I can't believe I just said that sentence. Two children with machine guns and one with a grenade launcher. Alright, let's exit. Return to battle. Formation will be locked for three turns, so you get a chance to change right at the beginning. Support effects. Recovers HP with normal attacks. Where is that at? I guess we'll have a tutorial on that. Let's attack the aerial enemy with a machine gun. Oh, it literally changes the guns on the side of the tank. Okay. Alright, sure. We'll hit it. And that delays it. We have a grenade launcher, 70%. Let's try to kill this one. Hey, success. Now let's try a machine gun. Delayed, and another machine gun. Oh, okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking the combat. S-A-S, we get an S. Rusty barrel, L and S, so there's gotta be upgrades. You fought well? Hang in there. Okay, I'll let the voiceover stop before I read next time. You fought well, hang in there. I know you can do it. The voice on the radio spoke words of comfort. However, Doubt and fear of what may lie ahead would not allow them to fully savor this victory. Uh, I guess all we can do is advance. We'll recover our health. By crushing a crate. Okay. That's how tanks are fixed. It doesn't stop either. It just goes right, over through, right on through. Repair kit. Now we got another battle. Prepare for combat, I think that says. Enemies in range. This is the enemy's armor rank, which represents their defensive power. The enemy has high armor rank, which makes it difficult to damage, so let's use May's skill. 
we don't want to change the machine gun kids out for cannons. Alright, skills. Piercing shot. Three hit attack with one armor rank decrease on an enemy. Okay. Okay, so even though that was machine gun, we removed an armor. Okay. In exchange for consuming SP, you can gain the upper hand in battle by using skills well, so give it a shot. SP can be recovered at recovery waypoints along the route, and also by clearing chapters and using recovery items. Oh, we are... We are able... Can we change the kids out? Kind of feel like we want you out here. And we want you here. Oh, wait a minute. Do they each have their own... Increases luck. Link attacks cannot be used. I don't know what lullaby, double strike, and all that is. And I don't see a way to see what it is. He increases luck. Okay, so the one in reserve provides a support effect but they cannot be used well the link attacks cannot be used but the support effect is probably still on right so increased accuracy would probably be better with you increase luck up here and then you've got increased speed after a normal attack sure let's try this all right so what skills? Two hits on an enemy. Why not, right? 100%. And delayed it. I would say that was effective. What is your skill? Attack all enemies. That would not be useful here. We will use the cannon, though. And your skill, HP, okay. I think a normal attack should do it. S, S, B. Okay, got some scrap. Um, help and main menu. I think we're good. Let's advance. We should heal up. Run over some crates. Yeah, this is pretty good so far. Oh, is it just a loading screen? Hope Grandma and Grandpa are okay. Don't worry, we'll get to them soon. So what's up with that weird voice on the radio? Who the heck is it? Yeah, we want to change the tech speed. Yeah, I don't know. Who could it be? Oi. Hold up. You think we can trust her? Uh. I don't know. Wherever she is, she helped us back there. We might have no choice but to trust her. <sighs> great. Just great. I guess we ain't got a choice then. <laughs> The children's tension gradually eased as they drifted off to sleep. Look how massive this thing is. There's like doors and rooms? You don't get that in a tank. You barely get enough room to set in a tank. All the while thinking, why? Why did any of this have to happen? Story. Pedimona, 12 hours before. Malt, Pedimona, an ordinary village on the outskirts of the free lands of Gasco. In this little village, we live simply in quiet peace every day. Those little feet. I took care of the moo sheep, looked after May, and my friend Hannah was always with us too.
Then there was Big Eater Boron, Brainiac Socks, and Kyle, the transfer student from the city. Our daily lives were always filled with peace. We never thought that would change. One night. Uh. Hmm? Uh, her. Run. Huh? Why's the radio? That's a cool image. I mean, not the children dying, but like the design of those zeppelins were cool looking. Villager. N no, how could you? Our village. Our beautiful Petamona. It's horrible. Ugh. Hey, you there. Get over here. Don't resist. No. <sighs> well, look at this guy. Pretzel. Stop that rough behavior. There's no need to take the lives of civilians. Is that their boss? As you well know, we have our orders to take as many of them alive as possible. Yes, sir. They said yes, sir. <laughs> damn it, damn it. Hey, you're 12. You shouldn't be cussing. Is it me or does it look like the radio has like a little face with like a mustache on it? You must run to the mountain cave. <laughs> ah. Is there something wrong, Colonel Pretzel? Colonel Pretzel. Mm. No, it's nothing. Once the villagers have been taken, proceed with their withdrawal. Yes, sir. <sighs> mm. How shameful. Why did we have to attack such a strategically meaningless village like this? Yeah, I gotta increase the tech speed. Well, where are the others? Taken, I bet, by those damn Burman assholes. Impossible. They said the war would not reach remote places like this. Malt, where's Grandma and Grandpa? May. No. That voice said to hide in the cave. That ain't a trap, right? <laughs> I don't know, but let's check it out. I mean, I don't think it would be a trap if you guys were already being occupied and rounded up. A voice telling you to go somewhere else, I, I doubt that would be a trap. The, the trap would be just stay right there and surrender. Fuka, Melodies of Steel. So that wasn't the title drop. That's just the loading screen. Malt, this must be it. The cave. It's got like weird... Like, drawings on it. Petroglyphs? But this... Isn't this old forbidden ground? Yes, that is correct. It must be fidden. Fidden. Forbidden for a reason. I'm scared. It's dark. I, I ain't afraid. Okay, let's head in with our eyes peeled. Everybody stick with me, alright? But wait, don't leave me behind. So in the cave of this was this massive land battleship that just happens to be in working order? What the heck is this? Must be a tank, but I never imagined they were this large. A tank? It's it's huge, bigger than the windmill in the village. Hey, looks like we can get in over there. Do, do you think it's safe? Let's take a look. May, stay with me. Okay. So is this initial run us running out of this village? This must be the tank's control room. Seriously? Maybe we can rescue everybody with this thing. But 
there's no handle. How are we supposed to operate it? N not even I know. It seems like it will fall apart if we touch it wrong. We gotta do something. Oh, I thought we could save everybody. Grandma. Grandpa. Mom. Our village. Let's go get them. Please. Please move. God, please save us. Is it a psychic tank? It, it moved. Yes. Now we can save everybody. Alright. Go! Uh, what exploded? Ah! Wake up! It's those Berman bastards. They're attacking us. Sorry, guys. Get ready. We need to fight back. Okay, so there's a mix. So we've got aerial. Hold on, let's do an analyze. Eisenfleisch. Aerial drone with high evasion. It's difficult to hit it with low accuracy. Cannon attacks. Shoot them down with a machine gun that has higher accuracy. Whoop. Zyklon. Tank with thick armor to reduce damage. If you lower its armor rank, the number on the left of their HP, it will lower its reduction rate. Use the machine gun skill piercing shot to lower its armor rank. And then the Yakund. So we've got one of each. What is the best way to handle this? We should probably put one of each up front. So let's change you out for... Injury resistance? No, I like the increased accuracy. We should put the increased accuracy here. And put you here. Now what do you give? Injury resistance. You give... Increased luck? If we swap you out... You have Flame Grenade, and you have Recovers HP with Normal Attacks. That's pretty good. And if we swap you out, you've got Lullaby. Alright, we're going to do this. Increased Accuracy, Recover HP, Injury Resistance. And just because I want to, we're going to put the Machine Gun up top. And there we go. Let's hope this works. All right, machine gun. We need to first use that to kill this thing. Cannon. We can delay everybody, which we should, probably should do. Now, what's our skill? Double strike? Let's double strike this one. Okay, delayed, but the armor's still there. Oof. Grenade launcher, we can delay you again. Ooh, I don't know if this is the way to do this. Machine gun, you. Okay, one's down. That one will attack. Alright, yeah, I'm not doing so hot on this. Grenade launcher. Skill. Burn. We need to kill this one. So, yeah, we'll attack you with burns. Oh, that's really good. Okay, well... We'll double shot again on you. You're delayed. Now, can we kill you with a machine gun? We certainly can. 
All right, and now grenade launcher and piercing shot should kill you. No, did not. But we do got a cannon. S rank. We got a times 1.5 XP. Is that because of a rank? Better attack, better special with the star? Everybody level 2. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Fuga, Melodies of Still. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.